hey good morning this is another session on palmistry and in this video you know i will be discussing about this palm we will be discussing about the different symbols in the palm and different markings which are very prominent right which in one snapshot you can uh, get an understanding of and it's also important to relate these events obviously uh, what the actual event might have been could be different but your job as a palmist is to investigate to really join the puzzle together uh, on a spiritual plane as well uh, to understand what's really going on obviously nowadays um, you know you see a very uh, different vibe you know people have become so anxious so chaotic um, and so much of randomness and restlessness i see that is coming across in multiple palms right a uh, large number of lines and uh too much of scatteredness of the line so i think uh we need to move in probably towards a direction of meditation calmness relaxation and so on and so forth uh, right because yeah i mean these days uh, whenever i do a reading i see such um you know sort of scatteredness in the hand and nervousness in the hand um right so yeah i mean i'll get started um, with the analysis and of course i'll also hope that you will learn through this video as well uh, this video is more of an attempt to link the pieces together to link the puzzle together so let's get started now first of all in the hand you can see these tiny islands coming up right and this comes largely you know uh, from an age of roughly 20 to 30 so this line this horizontal line is called as the headline and you can see these islands coming in i by islands i mean this line has a doubled appearance like like oval shaped symbols are coming uh, across the hand now what does this mean it largely means that between 22 to 32 33 the person will have a lot of confusion restlessness um you know anxiety and stuff like that and which the person does confirm the person did say that he was over analyzing things right um uh, probably it needed a easier resolve but you know uh, he was confused he was over uh, analyzing things so those sort of experiences were there obviously the person also said that there were no major spiritual experiences as such uh, which is again uh, you know slightly contradictory to the older opinion uh, where the islands do take you through the spiritual journey but perhaps i give it to the person maybe didn't want to explain a lot of those experiences and probably he rationalized them uh, and probably at a later point he might open up this is a common phenomena when you see islands these people experience a lot of things but they don't want to talk about things at that moment and at a later juncture they come back and i have seen that in multiple cases as well uh, but one thing for sure confusionness and uh, you know a lot of uh, overthinking uh, it does produce right now let's try to link the things you see the girdle of venus is also there which means that this phase perhaps also made the person very very sensitive right and then you look into the marriage or the relationship line you can see one of the lines is moving in a downward direction then you look into the heart line as well okay so uh, four to five things we try to see together one there is an island then you see a girdle of venus then you see these marriage lines moving in downward direction and this is again coming up around 25 26 or so because they're slight, slightly shifted upwards and then you see the double headline approach you also see the heart line is under a lot of pressure it's almost broken now the way i would link this piece together is probably the person encountered a phase where there were a lot of confusion right obviously islands have come in so there would have been a lot of confusions and uh, there would have been a lot of overthinking and at the same time i feel especially around late 20s or so the person also attracted a partner who was slightly more dominating obviously when your mind is uh, not working at its best you would want someone to control it you would want someone to show it direction right and that is where the person attracted a dominating partner right that's where you can see the uh, the marriage or the relationship line slightly bending downwards and then you see the pressure that it created overall 
uh, due to which you can see the girdle of weakness which means sensitivity came in uh, perhaps the person was dominating the person was very sensitive and the person was very aggressive right as a result see when you have someone very aggressive and dominating in your life naturally you become more sensitive and that we can see across in the palm as well you can see the girdle of venus coming in and then um, you can see the heart line under pressure as well you can see it's fraying down you can see small islands on the heart line as well uh, right so when you link all these pieces together what do you get it comes across that you know naturally the person was inclined to go through a difficult phase between 20 to 30 perhaps between 25 to 30 he attracted a person or a relationship where he wanted someone to control him to guide him because obviously his mind was not completely under his control there was a lot of uncertainty the, uh, so hence the soul attracted a more dominating soul in the life as a result of which right if the person would have been neutral that decision would not have happened but you know this happened because obviously the mind was confused as a result of which the person became very sensitive during that time 25 to 30 and even beyond that and as a result the heart line is completely frayed indicating that the emotional health is not okay and that's going to be the case in the future as well unless the person breaks the pattern right so this is like a puzzle right you join in pieces together similarly let's uh, let's try to also understand why this you know uh, situation might have occurred at all right why did the person allow it right let us try to understand a bit on the personality aspect you can clearly see the moon is very strong right so cert certainly saying that the person is very soft spoken soft hearted then you see these vertical lines on the fingers see these vertical lines are a very big cue uh, right to a lot of things what happens is that when people have these vertical lines right on the fingers they don't push back right they agree whatever is told to them right they are the sort of people who are overly friendly who don't want to get into a fight even if you do something extreme they will react in a very normal way uh, they feel emotional expression sensitivity is a weakness uh, hence acting logical or rational in all the ways is the best way to go ahead and uh, similarly you can see on the heart line as well it's pretty straight right the straight heart line indicating that intellect is more strong uh, and they are overly friendly so what happens there is no pushback and the person because the person was couldn't push back was so friendly was so open to things uh, the person allowed this thing to happen right so it's like uh, you know when something devastating is happening in front of you or something negative is happening in front of you you try to accept them and try to rationalize and optimize that as well even at the cost of hurting yourself this is the sort of uh, you know energy this person has got into so my suggestion obviously again this is just queuing up the evidences that I am getting in the palm I would suggest the person to you know have a boundary right have a Lakshman Rekha have a you know structure to things otherwise uh, the person will keep getting more and more sensitive there, there will be too high emotional pressure and this might lead to some health issues some other problems etc right again this is how you connect the pieces together now let us take more such insights you have the Yav symbol over here you see Yav symbol is nothing but this oval shaped symbol over here right uh, you see a strong job line in the hand as well right um, and uh, yeah I think the Venus mount is also decent the lifeline looks fine it's well developed so when I join these pieces together uh, what it comes across is that when it comes to finances when it comes to job there's some sort of a positive movement that is likely to happen because the person is blessed you see the guardian angel lines are also there so overall the movement from a financial perspective would be good so uh, though the person goes through this turmoil emotionally sensitively uh, and because of this person's choices of uh, going over intellect over emotions at times is backfiring him the soul has to evolve and learn, learn how to develop boundaries how to value emotion how to value emotional expression over time if the person continues to restrict and depend on intellect as the main tool of moving ahead in life at certain point there would be troubles and that is where the person has to really learn so these are some spiritual 
uh, lessons that the person has to learn and if the person starts moving the direction in the right direction I am certain the person will make tremendous amount of progress because there are guardian angel lines, there are protective lines, there is nothing wrong as such in the hand that there are no major negative marks. In fact, the person is likely to heal out of this situation. But the faster the person realizes the lesson, the better for him. But of course, that is a personal choice as well, right? I mean, we as palmist can only guide and assess to a certain level beyond which it's purely the person's choice how fast or how quickly they want to learn and move ahead and how they basically internalize it with themselves. Now, coming to some other evidences from the palm, what's happening currently and then we will talk a bit about uh, what are some of the remedies from a mantra perspective the person can go through. We'll discuss a bit about that as well. Now, <clears throat> clearly you can see a sort of island-like face coming up at the end of the headline. Now, this generally indicates lack of sleep, right? The person is probably over um, taxed and uh, is not able to relax really that much. And that is where a lot of help is required. The person also needs to relax more. Um, obviously, moon is strong, so restlessness is really pushing in and the person is not able to have deeper sleeps. And as a result of which, it's slightly becoming a pattern where the person might have lack of sleep. Uh, so these are the patterns, right? You will have to look and understand the spiritual connect and how to link these pieces together. Uh, I asked feedback from the person as well. He did mention that he has this ability to not push back at all. He'll just agree circumstances. If someone shouts at him, he's okay with it. He sees it from an intellectual standpoint. So now that becomes a difficult, right? You see everywhere the headline is straight and long. There's a long logical phalange. The heart line is straight. So person is completely intellectual. He's not able to understand emotions and subjectivity. He has to learn that. Obviously, you need that as well. So uh, that is confirmed. Second, obviously, when it comes to islands, the person does confirm that he had a lot of confusion and overthinking as well. So that pattern is also accurate. There is a horizontal line cutting across from the lifeline and going to the top of the palm. This generally indicates towards a transformative phase uh, around 26, uh, around 22 to 24. But the person did say nothing or no major transformation happened. He just mentioned that there was uh, a sense of independence and he started becoming more independent. So probably there were some situations, but again, you know, intellectual people are like, they just make it logical and they don't want to understand. Uh, that could be one thing or it could be really that these lines are not accurate. But with my evidence and seeing multiple number of mounts, I certainly feel that something would have happened. Probably the person does not want to talk about it that openly or perhaps, um, you know, he takes it from a logical pinch and accepts uh, it as as, a, uh, as an okay situation coming quickly to the mantras that would certainly help the person see one thing is clear that under saturn these islands are coming right which means saturn is not really happy with his progress right the person is not slowing down the person is not ready to learn his lessons at a slow pace so uh, the important aspect uh, or mantra would be om namah shivaya om shani uh, shani mantras can also be chanted uh, these will help the person to, um, you know, uplift himself, become more uh, calm, right? Uh, apart from that, you can clearly see under Mercury, there are some uh, challenges as well. You can see sleeplessness, you can see errors on the heart line as well. Uh, so the person has to chant uh, Mercury chants. Uh, and these are more towards Ganesh because Ganesh is the uh, overall... Uh, accountant of intellect on both the spiritual and material world so perhaps uh, om ganpate namaha or or any ganesh mantra could be taken up and chanted witness day becomes important uh, for this person same way for saturn uh, saturday becomes important and if the person still wants to really improve his situations even more then venus uh, has to be taken care of as well and uh, that's where um, om shukrai namaha on Fridays could help. So yeah, I hope you got few more insights as to how to investigate into a palm and solve the puzzles gradually. And once you start looking things from this perspective, you'll become more and more accurate. Uh, hope you got few more learnings. Do reach out to me in case you're looking for a reading. 
Thanks. Take care. Have a brilliant day. Bye-bye.